Salutations, people of YouTube. It must have been lag here. Hope everybody's doing well. Today, I got a tattoo, you know, to add to the giant collection. It's that little Borderlands symbol right there. I'm running out of space. But I figured with that, I could coincide one of my theories that I thought would be interesting. Now, I'm not going to cover the entire game of Borderlands, so if you're not familiar with it, this might not be the video for you. But I wanted to talk about Sirens. Now, the brief overview of Sirens is there's reportedly six in existence at any given time, and they'll develop their powers when they inherit them from the previous Siren. There's an exception to that, like with Troy Calypso, who was a conjoined twin to Tyrene Calypso, who wound up manifesting Siren powers, so he did as well. But he had to leech off of her to survive. The unique tattoos are both defining features and a side effect of being a siren. They manifest when the siren's powers first develop, appearing on one half of the body, covering them from foot to scalp. Sirens seemingly channel their powers through the arms that process the tattoos, which is often seen when Maya uses her power phase lock, or Lilith uses her power phase walk, so on and so forth. Sirens thrive on iridium, a mineral that forms the crust of Pandora and later becomes abundant on the surface after the events of Borderlands. Patricia Tannis suggests that because of the relationship with iridium, there should be a connection between sirens, the vaults, and iridians, which is the ancient race that made the vault. The connection is not between iridium and the individual siren, as Angel mentions that Maya has no previous connection to iridium in echo recordings, although she is able to eventually gain a connection through the study of her power on Athenus. The connection between the sirens and the iridians is further demonstrated in Borderlands the pre-sequel. While the players working their way through the Elysir map towards the vault, it is revealed that Lilith had been following the player the whole time. The Guardians made no effort to stop her, and she says it was almost as if they wanted her to get to the vault. Now, Siren's powers are enhanced through Iridium. This is seen in points all over Borderlands 2, where Lilith used Iridium to push her powers to the max. It's also seen when Handsome Jack feeds Iridium to Angel to enhance her power. Now, the feeding of Iridium could have negative side effects, such as Lilith forming an addiction, and Ava having such large quantities given to her in such a long period of time, she needs it just to sustain life. The Iridium writings in Borderlands 3 provide more information on the history of the Sirens as they're written by an ancient Siren named Nereid. The Sirens live side by side with Iridians, yet neither the Iridians nor the Sirens themselves know where the Sirens came from. When a Siren dies, they could choose to pass their powers onto a specific person or let their powers find a total stranger. The final Iridian writing in Borderlands 3 reveals that there are in fact seven in existence overturning Handsome Jack's claim in Borderlands 2 that there was only six. Nereid also warns that the seventh siren must never be found. Now here are the sirens we know of. We have Amara from Borderlands 3 who gets phase trance. We have Angel from Borderlands 1 and 2 who has phase ship, who wound up transferring the power to Patricia Tannis, who also has phase shift in Borderlands 3. We have Maya, who has phase lock, who wound up passing her powers to Ava, who has phase lock. Lilith with phase walk, the unnamed siren who passed her powers to Lilith, Commandant Steel, whose powers we don't know, Tyrene Calypso with phase leech, which also includes Troy Calypso with phase leech, and then stealing phase lock from Maya, Dido, Queen of Athenus, and lover of Typhon Delion. And then here's where things get interesting. Asha from the comic books was a siren who had animal control. And that's why I'm making this video. Now the comics are considered canon, though Asha's never brought into the video games. Here we have in Borderlands 3, Bounty of Blood, where we're introduced to a character named Rose. Not much is known about Rose except that she's the leader of the gang in the Bounty of Blood that you're fighting against, and that her grandmother worked for the Jacobs Corporation. So we're going to look at the things that wouldn't make her a siren. First of all, she has no tattoos. Let's look at Patricia Tannis from Borderlands 3 pre-being a siren. Well, she was always a siren, she just didn't want anybody to know. While she hides her arm for the most part, there are times where it's visible, and if you look at the wrist, there's no tattoos. So it might be possible to hide the tattoos. The second reason she might not be a siren is the echo logs claim that the grandmother passed down the knowledge of that whistling to get the animals to be under control. There's a fair number of things that would dissuade her actually being a siren, but let's look at the things that do make her appear to be a siren. Number one is the control of the animals that nobody else seems to be capable of. I'd say that's a pretty big deal considering we've never seen anybody in Borderlands have the ability to do that. Even Flax Beastmaster ability, you see the robotics attached to these animals 
that gives some sort of mind control. Number two is the knowledge she has pertaining to the Ruiner. Why would she know that and want to go after it if she didn't have the ability to control it? And I don't mean simple whistling. I don't think that's so much of a trick. Number three and the biggest one for me is the showdown with the sheriff. Take a look at these eyes. Those are glowing eyes. Could Rose be Asha from the comic books? I mean, it could be a completely new character, but here's the big thing. That DLC came out of nowhere with a brand new story, and Borderlands isn't really known for that unless they're introducing things. I think they're introducing Rose because at the end, they said they never found her body. I have a feeling Sirens are going to play a huge part of the next story, and we're going to be introduced to all six and possibly the seven. That was a little bit of food for thought from me. I'd love to know what you guys think about it. Please comment, like, share. Anything you can is always appreciated. Everybody, thank you for watching the stuff I make as I continue to figure out uh, the stuff I like to share. Really, right now, it's just anything I feel like. And uh, maybe we'll get on the straight and narrow. Maybe I'll cover random stuff. Either way, you're watching, and I love you for it. Take it easy.